Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Good morning. Uh, welcome to Weather Brunch with Bill. This Sunday, September 1st, I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. Got our cantaloupe, got our, bra- our grapes over here this morning, a little on. And uh, fun is on the menu. Next Saturday, Weather Ready Fest, Huntsville, UAH. The National Weather Association will be coming to town. The foundation will be putting on the Weather Ready Fest 2019. Same event we've put on in Norfolk and Orange County, St. Louis last year. Huge events. Expecting 5,000 people out at UAH uh, Saturday, September 7th from 10 to 4. We'll have uh, over 35 exhibitors. You'll get a free passport that uh, has lots of fantastic weather information in it and uh, guides you through... Um, uh, through going by and visiting all the exhibitors, getting them stamped, coming back, getting uh, door prize tickets, and uh, watching Nick uh, Weather uh, Nick uh, Walker from the Weather Channel uh, perform. The kids are going to love it. It's a great day, family event. It's totally free. You'll get to meet James Spann. He'll be out signing his book. Uh, author Willie Dry will be there. There's a whole list of speakers. Uh, we'll have a National Weather Service Skywarn training. You'll be able to sign up only 125 slots to go tour the National Weather Service office in Hustle. That's never happened. It's never been open to the public. Uh, we'll be going over to UAH to uh, tour the Swirl Building, those same lucky 125 winners. Uh, there'll be uh, tons of opportunities there for you to uh, do hands-on activities, learning, and uh, lots of fun. It uh, will be an incredible day. And it's next Saturday from 10 to 4. Free tickets at weatherreadyfest.com. You need to go there and get one of those time tickets just to make sure you have uh, an opportunity to get in. Tell all your friends. There's no limit. We want to see you there. It's going to be a fantastic day. Now, talking about Hurricane Dorian this morning. This is a borderline Category 5 hurricane. Uh, You can see just a tiny bit of shear on the western side. Otherwise, this is a nearly perfect hurricane. Uh, Very large, dense, central overcast uh, there's very clo- cold cloud top showing up in the uh, darker colors there around uh, a very well-defined eye wall uh, that is uh, just uh, continuing to track to the west uh, very steadily. Eight miles an hour, some 250 miles east of Palm Beach, Florida this morning. It is going to tear through the northern Bahamas later today and tonight. It is going to be a very devastating event, a surge in wind. For our friends in the Bahamas, Great Abaco, or Abaco, Great Inagua, uh, fortunately it will miss Nassau, but the northern part of the Bahamas are going to take quite a devastating hit from Hurricane Dorian. Latest recon we had in the plane, or the latest recon we got from the storm last night, uh, shortly before midnight, showed the pressure was down to 935 millibars. Uh, there is another plane en route to the storm this morning. There's, of course, a, a Gulf Stream plane flying high in the uh, in the hurricane to give us more information for the models. Now, uh, as for the future intensification, it's actually forecast to strengthen a little bit more. That same plane last night that found the 935 millibars was just another plane that found uh, winds over 160 miles an hour. So that's uh, right teetering on Category 5 status. Will that happen today? No, 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 you know, that's a big deal to make a storm a Category 5. But it is moving over very high ocean uh, heat content water right there. You can see some of the hottest in the tropics. And um, so it's going to be able to pick up some energy as it uh, moves through those warmer waters. Uh, not much shear. There's a little bit of shear impinging on the storm. Uh, some 12 to 18 uh, knots of shear. Uh, as you can see though as it goes north and that's a, a sort of spoiler, a spoiler alert here. As it goes to the north it's going to run into higher shear. And uh, that, of course, will induce a weakening trend. Now, uh, if you, as you remember, we've been talking about a ridge of high pressure extending from uh, the northeastern Gulf across the Florida Peninsula into the western Atlantic. That ridge is a mere shadow of itself this morning. It is beginning to fall apart thanks to uh, this uh, trough that is beginning to develop over the eastern United States. Uh, and, in fact, by Monday, that trough will be set up and in full force. This is the bus that is coming to pick up Dorian. Dorian will not miss this bus, we don't think. Uh, at least um, that's what our forecast uh, believes. Uh, as you can see, that ridge uh, has set up to the west. Big opening for Dorian to turn north and uh, move to the north and northeast. 
in coming days. Uh, making for a very interesting forecast and a challenging forecast because the forecast to air uh, still at, you know, five days is 200 miles. That's what the cone shows. Uh, that average, uh, two-thirds of the average forecast to air, the center could be anywhere in that cone. And that's quite a big different impact if that uh, cone, uh, if that center is traveling right down the middle of the fairway along the dotted line right there, but say that track were to the left. If it were just uh, at the uh, two-thirds of the average area, that thing could be over Lake Okeechobee. Um, if it were two-thirds to the right, it could be uh, one for the fishes. Uh, and, and in this case, Florida is going to dodge a bullet. This is a, a larger look at the uh, track. You could not uh, more accurately just about lay this track out to parallel the coast. Just going to be an amazing storm if this happens. Hurricane warnings for the Bahamas. Tropical storm warnings. Golden Beach to Deerfield Beach along the eastern coast of Florida. They'll see uh, tropical storm force winds perhaps as early as late tonight, but more likely tomorrow. Now, here's what we're hanging our hat on. The models are in good agreement. They're actually getting along much better than most other things in our world today. This is the European Ensemble. Uh, you see the black, uh, the darker line showing the mean of the ensemble. Uh, you see that very strong track to the west, <clears throat> plodding along till tomorrow, then just a very sharp turn to the right, and then a gradual recurvature. What about the GFS? Ah, same thing. Uh, singing from the same hymnal. That blue line to the left is the control. Gives us some concern that there's an opportunity that uh, that Dorian might actually make landfall somewhere along the uh, North Carolina coast. And really the coastline, as you saw by the cone, no part of the coast is safe. Um, everyone needs to be sitting on ready on their hurricane plans uh, all the way from Florida to North Carolina, even southeastern Virginia. I saw a funny meme yesterday of Jim Cantore. He said, no, Florida, I did not tell you you could eat your hurricane snacks yet. And uh, that is true. Uh, don't eat those hurricane snacks just yet. Now, we'll use the day-by-day -day to not only look at our weather, because you're probably like, I tuned in for our weather, uh, but also what's going to happen with Dorian. And now we'll talk about our weather. Um, hot and dry, in a word, uh, unfortunately. A few scattered showers and thunderstorms showing up today, generally uh, along south of I-59. That's sort of a uh, an area that uh, some higher moisture values have uh, seeped in from the southeast. And uh, you can see Dorian there uh, poised to move over the Bahamas. This is Monday. Edge is a little closer to Florida. We're high and dry. Nothing here. Highs in the 90s, lows in the 70s. Pretty typical summertime fare. By Tuesday, the storm turning to the north. You see scattered showers uh, over the Florida Peninsula up into southeastern Georgia. But Alabama, high and dry and hot. By Wednesday, storm is uh, approaching latitude of Jacksonville beginning to get ready to make that right turn to the northeast here in Alabama. Hot and dry, more of the same. Highs in the 90s, lows in the 70s. By Thursday, storm turning to the northeast, dangerously close to the South Carolina coast near uh, Myrtle Beach. Heavy rain on shore, as a matter of fact. They'll be getting some strong wind gusts, tropical storm force there. In fact, we could see, and you'll see this in a minute, tropical storm force gusts all the way from Florida to southeastern Virginia. By Friday, the storm has uh, passed the Outer Banks and beginning to move off to the northeast here in Alabama. Hot and dry, highs in the 90s, lows in the 70s. So, unfortunately, that's not good for our recent dryness, despite that uh, little spate of wetness that we had uh, about a week, a uh, little over a week ago. But uh, we're going to be needing more rain here in Alabama. Now, great product here off the European showing uh, the uh, wind gust swath. Most of the heavy winds stay offshore. They will impinge. They're probably somewhere in northeastern Florida. You see some wind gusts there uh, above uh, 40, 45, 50 miles an hour. South Carolina coast, a little better chance up around Myrtle Beach uh, into the Wilmington area and then into um, eastern North Carolina, southeastern uh, Virginia. And if that track is shifted even so slightly to the west, it will have more of an impact all along the coast. Rainfall amounts will be fairly substantial right along the, go uh, along the coast, uh, running some, you know, three to four inches there generally. Get up into eastern North Carolina, they could be a little bit heavier. Here in Alabama, though, high and dry, hot and sunny for the foreseeable future. These are our temperatures. 
um, off of the uh, European. They're too high, and they're not going to be that warm. But we're going to be in the 90s, as I told you, 70s at night. A little bit of a cool down come Friday. Uh, a, little bit, a little bit nicer for football games Friday and Saturday nights. Uh, but those daytime guy, that games on Saturday will not be any fun. Welcome to September. Um, you know, our average normal rainfall in September, 3.9 inches. We're not going to see any of that anytime soon. And um, you can catch, catch this entire graphic uh, Scott Martin did over on the Alabama WX blog. We start out at daytime highs around 88 on average. By the end of the month, we're down to 80. Starting at around 67 average at the beginning of the month, 58 by the end. We've been as cold as 37 back in 1967. And we've been as hot as 106 a couple of times back in 1925. Now, something I wanted to mention, Hurricane Elena, this is the anniversary back in 1985 of that uh, confounding storm. If you remember, it was targeting Mobile. It made a hard right, went over to the Tampa Bay area. Everybody said, uh, yeah, don't worry about it. We got up on Sunday morning and the storm was coming back to the west and it uh, messed up Labor Day plans all along the Gulf Coast. This is the view from the Space Shuttle Discovery back on September 1st. 1985 so uh, that's uh, your weather extreme video for this sunday september 1st don't forget weather ready fest next saturday tell your friends get up early we'll have the games on the tv come and have a great time uh, with some fabulous folks in huntsville nasa sport will be there uh, the swirl folks the national weather service folks it's just going to be a free-for-all and uh, if you come before 12, you get to see James Spann and pick up one of his books, get him to sign it. It's going to be a fun, fun day for all. But until uh, I get to do this weather video again next week, uh, James will be back for two days all week uh, this coming week. Well, I guess he'll probably be on holiday schedule tomorrow because it'll be Labor Day. Scott Martin will be here next Saturday. And until I get to see you again, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.